Okay, so this is stitch here. It's about seven inches in length, like your standard comb. It has this bent towards the front. You lay this flat against the head, and then with the needle pointed down, you slide in and you turn it, and it comes right out and giving you the width of your stitch that you're gonna create. You only could cover so much ground, and then you could use your two hands, you could move the hair up and down, cleaning the passage so that there's no disruption when you're sliding the needle through. You want all the hair to be in the same bundle that you're going to slide through because if you leave one hair out, you would have to go back and stitch you know, that through. It's important right when you're about to slide it through the pattern that you hold that strand and you pull it back and you have it parallel to your needle because that's going to make the hair go straight in. When you're pulling, it gives a little bit easing the tension so that it allows the hair to just slide through. The silicone, it has no memory, meaning that if this was to get into a kink or bent or get into a twist, it bounces back and it's still your eye loop. When you're using the stitch, you want to have a great foundation. So you want to either create a ponytail or flip the bottom of the hair so you can create a base. Also, braids work hand in hand with stitch. You could use it on straight, wavy, or curly hair. If you want more dimension, you want your weaving to stand out a little bit more, you prep the hair. You could micro crimp it, you could um, curl it, and those are different patterns that you could create. Definitely mind your tension when you uh, create your base. You want to use a smooth fabric, because you gotta remember, your hair is a fabric. And also, by putting product, you're changing the fabric. So now you have some kind of, um, texture to the hair and if you're using a fabric that has texture and it's going to kind of clash but something that's smooth like leather plastic um, a thin rope um, also there's like um, these elastic bands that come in bundles i like to use that because it's more flexible then that gives me some tension if i wanted to create a shape i could stretch the elastic and tie it to a braid and then I would get different dimension and shape and I could adjust where I want the volume or the separation of a hair to, to create my style. 